going to be a place for baby chicks from the time they're hatched uh, until about uh, three weeks. So what we're going to do with this is uh, we'll clean all the extra wood out of it. We'll take all the sides off. I guess we'll get it back down to the frame just like you did with a coop. And then we'll make it a brooder. And so what that means is it's going to be a place for baby chicks from the time they're hatched. Uh, until about uh, three weeks, three weeks-ish in size before they're ready to go out onto the pasture. And uh, yeah, I don't know how long this is gonna take. Shouldn't take too long, it's just, I got uh, some pretty good um, some pretty good plans that I'm gonna build off of. The, the plans are not built for a frame this size, so I'm gonna be modifying a little bit. So I just gotta take some time and, and, and work on the materials list a little bit. And that's always my thing. You know, I, I get going and I, I'll get some materials and uh, I'll need to go back to the store and get more. Yeah. All right. We'll get started on this in a little bit. Got to make a store run. All right. Got all the stuff off it. Stacking it up over here. And uh, next step is just to uh, start the disassembly. Taking off all this uh, wood, the rails and all that because I got to put a new base on because that's all rotted. Make a brooder out of this thing yet. Yeah. All right, about 20 minutes. I got to go run some errands, but uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. All right, got all the sides and got the gate off. Uh, I can't really get at the sides over there, but I got this propped up because I want to take a look underneath and see how I need to get these. So these are all bolted on, so I'm going to have to remove all of those all the way down. That's awesome. And, of course, take out the wiring because I don't think chickens need that in a brooder. Okay, more to go. Proposed solution in place. Yeah, this ought to do it. Think that, okay, I think that's good. I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright. Let's go see what we did. Well, that should let me get to it. I had uh, a little issue as I crept forward and then lifted and crept forward and lifted. And that is it. It actually, I lifted a little too high without going a little too forward. So, but the straps are on there. That's snug. So, and they're, they're hitched underneath here pretty good. So let's go to work.
Okay, we got all the wood off. We've got the bolts removed. We got the frame wire brushed just to take off the, the main stuff. And then, uh, so we took a look at it and based on uh, Joel Salatin's recommendation on the number of birds per square foot, uh, we're gonna end up making this not an eight by eight, but we'll make it a uh, seven by six. So we'll go seven feet lengthwise and then six feet width wise, which is gonna give us about a foot, 10 inches, 10 to 12 inches uh, overhang on each side. So when we come back, I'm gonna start making those pieces of wood, be some cross members to go side to side so that uh, when we go to put uh, the plywood on, it doesn't uh, droop over time. All right, so getting the new uh, planks going across. The reason I'm doing this is because when I go to put the plywood on, so I'll put these down to act as a base, and then I can just tack the, the plywood portions, uh, the flooring, directly onto this, and it just becomes a solid foundation. And I'm connecting these to the frame, just using the same nasty hardware that was on there that I took off the old one when I removed all the old wood. So I've kept all the pieces, and I'm able to just, you know, boom, 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 put them back in. So that's pretty cool. Little by little. Okay, got the deck on. I'm just using materials that I've already have. So I've had these, these exterior boards for a long time. So I think these will work for the decking for the chicken brooder. And then my goal is to try and build the rest of it um, as much as I can framing and all with all the wood that came off uh, the old uh, trailer that was here. So we'll see if I can do that. Might be a stretch. All right, got the sides up. Make good progress. So do some siding. Get the top. Top's gonna take some work only where the central uh, beam is gonna go because I'm gonna work some hinge stuff up here so that I don't need a, a roof cap on it to keep stuff out. Sir, this is for chickens. It's for chickens. Okay. Cat don't care. All right, making a little bit of progress here. Got uh, got the hardware cloth up to keep things from flying in the vent area up there. Got the uh, gable up here and got the first uh, side put on. I think that I think that looks all right. And uh, eventually, I'll build in the frame piece here that'll allow a. Uh, clear cover to go over that just just to give it a little extra protection in the event of inclement weather got to work on this for a bit uh several other things came up but again that's just how it goes and so i've got a good ridge beam going uh it's actually like an m shape so real good support right out of polyface designs and uh siding material is on base is on so yeah looking good working on the roof I got all the hardware for uh, for putting on the, the roof and it's because it opens this way. We've got pretty much the whole thing set up. We've got uh, the sheeting on for a roof. It's really the underlayment. I've got, uh, it's more of the metal roofing material. I'm gonna put the metal roofing on uh, and in order to cover that, I'm gonna have one side that's going to extend further. So it's just gonna be sticking out. The other side's gonna stop right here at the apex. The other side's gonna stick out and then I'll align the ridges so that when I open it up, it will lay down over top of the other side. And I think that's gonna do the job. We'll see if it works. Uh, all right, inside's just about what you'd expect. I've got uh, the ribs running along to give some uh, integrity to the piece of uh, plywood that goes across here um, and then Along this beam, I'll have uh, heating elements hanging down uh, to provide heat for the chicks. Okay, uh, got it done, I think. 98%. Um, so we started with a uh, chassis that I got on uh, 
Facebook Marketplace. Is it still Facebook Marketplace or is it Meta? Something. Anyway, Facebook Marketplace paid a hundred bucks. Also came with a full load of lumber that the guy was just trying to get rid of because he had to move. And so I used all that uh, lumber to build the frame and do all that stuff. Um, it's uh, six by seven, which is a little bit uh, smaller than the eight by eight that I was uh, copying the design off of from Polyface Designs, uh, which is the book. Uh, changes that I made, other than making it smaller, was uh, on the roof line. And you can see kind of how this ended up. So uh, the other one had the, the roof sort of uh, the plywood piece coming to here and then just bending a piece of uh, sheet metal roofing over the top to provide some, some element of, uh, of uh, rain protection, weather protection for the gable. In this case, I left it open uh, and only brought the sheet metal up to here on this side and then extended it from the other side. And so when it opens up, all the ridges, you can see all the ridges are aligned. So it lays flat, so it opens up plenty wide, which is good. I'll tell you what though, um, these are heavy and that's, uh, that's a downside, but I mean, you're not going to get around that with a four by eight sheet of plywood anyway. It's always going to feel kind of hefty and then you got to put some framing to give it some, uh, support. Um, but got the, uh, you know, clear plastic for the frame to open up for ventilation. And then, uh, yeah. And then the interior is just, you know, about like you'd expect. You know, it's uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. There's some extra wood in there, but uh, it's good. I think it's going to be all right. So I'm excited. I'm so excited, in fact, that I uh, I ordered uh, our first run of chicks this morning for meat birds. I actually ordered both meat birds and layers. And so I think what I'm going to do is modify again. And I'm going to put a, a piece of plywood down the middle to divide it into two halves so I could put meat birds on one side and layers on the other side. Uh, but that'll be pretty cool. But I'm really excited. The only thing I have to put it back in here now is the heating elements, which are, you know, I've got electric ones that I purchased. So I just, it's going to limit the mobility for the actual uh, heat portion of it or for the actual brooding portion of it to somewhere close to an outlet or within, say, 100 feet of an outlet. But I can move it around a little bit just to keep it in shade or put it in sun. It just depends on what the weather's doing. So I'm pretty excited. So, yeah, it's a good project. It took a while because, uh, you know, life happens and other things come up. But uh, chicks are going to be coming uh, in about two weeks. So I'm excited. All right. Thanks for watching.